Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fenchurch Street Station. Beauty, I'll buy it. Too late. It's mine. Rent, wog. Right, uh, how many stations have you got? One. Okay, there you go. Fifty bucks. And the rest. What rest? Five hundred bucks. Come on, give me. And no checks. What for? The hotel. Fenchurch Street Travel Lodge. <laughs> you can't put a hotel on a station. I know that. I'm not stupid. It's a motel. Listen, there's nothing in the rules covering motels on stations. I had to put it there. Why? Of course, there was a train strike. <laughs> Thousands of passengers stranded overnight. Besides, I need the money. Now, give us it. Right, at, have it your own way, then. Motels are allowed on stations from now on. Thank you, Mr. Cabanossi Cruncher. <laughs> 500 bucks. Take it out of what you own. I don't owe you nothing. Motels are allowed on stations? Yeah. Right, I've got two of them and you're on one, so that's a thousand bucks. That's cheating. It is not. It is. It is not. Phil Marie's cheating. Chuck him out. You're the banker. Hang on, you can't chuck me out, mate. I own the board. No, you don't. I do so too. You don't. I Will do. You two shut up. It's not yours and it's not Bruno's. It's mine. I bought it yesterday. Well, what happened to ours? You chucked it in the incinerator. When? When you lost the last game. <laughs> I didn't lose the last game and it was ruined by an earthquake. And that was no earthquake. You chucked the board on the floor because you were losing. It was a fair dinkum earthquake, I tell you. Bull. It's true. It's a known fact that Wombat Crescent is on the famous Goanna Heights fault line. <laughs> and that's why there's a crack across the footpath every four foot six. Oh, rubbish, Dad. I'm fed up with your crazy stories. Oh, quick, quick. This time your father's right. What? There is a crack across it every four foot six. <laughs> Listen, are we going to play this bloody game or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, deal the cards. There are no cards. We're playing Monopoly. All right, we'll deal the dice then. Well, it's your bloody go. Don't shout at me. Give us the dice. I gave them to you. You didn't. I bloody did. You bloody didn't. All you gave me was two sugar cubes, which I put in my... <laughs> Give us it here. Get your greasy fish shop fingers out of that cup. Yeah, all right, all right. There's an oil slick in there already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Just get them out. What with? With your fingers. I'm not putting my fingers in there. I have to drink out of that. All right, use your toes then. Or are they too cramped from peeling bananas? <laughs> Watch it, mate. With your teaspoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, come on, Tim. All right, all right. Teaspoons are very tricky things. <laughs> Here, there you go. <laughs> right. One, two, three, four. Mayfair with a hotel, that'll be three and, th three and a half thousand bucks. I wasn't tossing the dice, I was saving him from drowning. Yeah, there's <laughs> Febro, now let him toss again. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Smarty. Cheats never prosper. Honest men do. I'm not a cheat, so poo to you. <laughs> Just chuck the bloody dice. Yeah, right, right. I'll move my own thing. Right. One, two, three, four. Go. Two hundred bucks. Go back. Three and a half grand. Bloody wog. You have an earthquake coming on, Grace. Come on, come on, come on. Three and a half grand. I haven't got it. Well, what have you got then? A get out of jail free card, which I mortgaged. Oh, well, what about your motel here on Fenchurch Street Station? You, why don't you mortgage that? Must be worth a few hundred bucks. There's no way I'm ever going to mortgage that. Why not? But he's already mortgaged it 12 times. <laughs> Ted fakes it. You're bankrupt. I'm not bankrupt. Somebody stole all my money. Oh, oh, rubbish. No, it's true. I've been embezzled. Look, one minute I'm rich, then the next minute I go out for a quick trip to the dunny, I come back, it's all gone down the gurgle. <laughs> Ted, who'd steal your money? Not for me to say, Thelma. I'm a gentleman. And a gentleman would never accuse any wog. <laughs> Why would I take your money? To get your teeming hordes of relations out from Italy. <laughs> it's monopoly money. You can't buy anything with it. Not here you can't, but over there anything goes. Lira, <laughs> monopoly money, PAL labels, it's all the same to them. <laughs> oh, it's true. Look, you can buy a bicycle with two Minty's wrappers. For one genuine Vegemite label, will get you a Fiat. All right, that's it. I'm going home. Come on, Greg. You're mad, Ted. Ah, giving it away, are we? Giving it away. Giving in. Her uh, Chalk up another victory on the wardrobe door, Phil. You didn't win. If anyone won, I did. <laughs> That'd be right. Typical bloody eye ties like during the war. Thousands of the eye ties sprinting across the desert, chucking away their boots and their guns, shouting, I win, I win. Right, now, come on. now, boys, now, look. I am the banker and I have the final decision. Agreed? Yeah, all right. Ted? Don't have to if I don't want to. Yeah, all right. Well, what's the decision? Well, it's obvious. It's a draw. The draw?
draw, but... Uh, all right, all right. You get the winning bit of the draw. I... You get the prize for having the most money and the most property. And Ted gets the prize for paying the most rent. <laughs> Sounds fair enough to me. <laughs> Speaking of rent, have you had any inquiries about the room yet? Oh, well, good. I don't think that now is quite the time to discuss certain things that have not yet been broken gently to a certain person. <laughs> Just a minute. What room, what rent, what inquiries? Yeah, what's going on? Shut up, Wog. This is my house. I'll find out what's going on. <laughs> Thelma, what's going on? Well, Ted, I was thinking, now that little Craigie is living with that Wendy girl, it does seem a shame to see those rooms going to waste, and we could do with the money. So I thought that we should rent them out to, to, to a nice, quiet student type. I'm not having one of them gloom-faced folk singing Sheila's trundling around here in sheepskin boots. Oh, no, 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 no. It won't be one of them. Or one of Craig's lot either, scraping the tops off their pimples with my razor. <laughs> not one of them either. I have been very specific as to the nice type of person we require. I should think so. Who are we getting? Well, a nice, quiet Asian student. <laughs> Peel me grandmother! <laughs> Mum, what's this? Oh. Room to rent, full board, and qu... Oh, Mum, you're not renting my room. Well, the house is very quiet without you, Craig, and with Greta married, that only leaves your father, so who am I going to talk to? Oh, but Mum, I've hardly left my mattress. It'd still be warm. <laughs> It's more than warm, Craig. It's on fire. <laughs> I sent it to the tip. <laughs> There's a new mattress on your bed. <laughs> Why? Well, you can't expect a lodger to sleep on a shabby old mattress. Well, I had to. That's different, your family. <laughs> we have to treat our Asian students nicely. Otherwise, they'll send home bad reports and millions of their relatives will invade us. <laughs> yeah, sure, Mum. Where are you going to stick this, anyway? Oh, on the front lawn, of course. Well, wouldn't it be better to put it in the local paper? Oh, Craig. If I wrapped it in the newspaper, no one would be able to read it. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, stick an ad in the paper. How can you expect an Asian student who speaks an entirely different language to read our papers? But the sign's in English. It's in very loud printing. And look, look, see, it's got an arrow pointing right to the door. Mm. Yeah, well, look, I've got to go. Oh, well, what about your eye? Eye. Well, listen, I want you to uh, stick that in the front lawn for you. Oh, now that you mention oh, it. All right, you do it. Only be careful with the hammer. Yes, all right, dear. Poor oh, Mum, about the washing. Oh, yes, what? Well, not that there's any hurry or anything, but... Uh, yes, do you want... Well, I'll have to pick it up tomorrow because Wendy needs a blue dress for a party tomorrow night. Yes, all right. All oh, right. and um, Wendy said, can you not use so much starch oh. on the sheets? Oh. One of them snapped last night while we were studying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm so sorry, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, who's a naughty hammer? <laughs> Open the door, Mrs. Bullpit. Oh, it's an Asian student already. <laughs> oh. uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Oh. Bullpit. You're not an Asian student. Very observant. <laughs> now, I'm commonly what's known as a cop, or even more commonly as a pig, <laughs> a fuzz, a Johnny Hopper, a Rosa, and look out here they come. <laughs> However, you may call me Stan. Why? It's my name. <laughs> oh, well, 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 come in, Constable Stan. Uh, that's uh, Sergeant. Stan Sergeant. <laughs> Isn't that a lovely name? <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you were a sergeant, then you'd be Sergeant Stan Sergeant. <laughs> I am, and it's Kelly. You're not Sergeant Sergeant? No. I don't understand, Stan. <laughs> Mrs. Bullpit, as a member of Her Majesty's Police Force, I have a special request for you. What? Shut up, please. <laughs> now, due to circumstances created by a bunch of striking pom warders, 
Some prisoners have escaped from a prison in these whereabouts. Oh, heavens, why? <laughs> they didn't like it in there. Well, of course not. It's full of criminals. <laughs> not as full as it should be. And that's why we're conducting this house-to-house uh, -house, um, thingamabob. Anyway, please, uh, please report any suspicious loiterers, preferably human, and of a malingering nature, and don't open your door for anyone. You're too late, Stan. I already did. Why? To let you in. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd still be shouting through the door, and I'd still be thinking you were Craig using one of your funny voices. Yes. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you, Mrs. Bullfrey. Oh, right. You keep your eyes peeled now. I will, yes. <laughs> well, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, uh, just for the record, mine is not a funny voice. It's my official police voice. Oh, <laughs> oh he's a trick that's dead. <laughs> I use Colgate Fluoragard because Mrs. Marsh ordered me to. <laughs> do, do I win the rubber dinky of my dreams? <laughs> oh, oh, Greta, I agree. It's me, your mother. <laughs> oh, this, this is so funny. You know, I can't remember why I'm ringing you. <laughs> There's your doorbell, dear. You better go and answer it. <laughs> ring, ring me back later when I remember what I was going to talk to you about, eh? Bye bye, dear. <laughs> gets round. It was at Greta's a minute ago. Come on, come in. Oh. Oh. oh, hello. I'm Thelma Bullpit because I married one. G'day. And you are? Oh, uh, I'm um, a quiet Asian student seeking own room full board and must love Holden's. Oh, would you like to see it? No, everyone knows what Holden's look like. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the room. Would you like to see it? Has it got bars on the window? No. I'll take it. <sighs> Excuse me. I, I, I don't mind me saying this. I don't, don't mean to pry or anything, but you don't look very Asian. <sighs> well, I am. I'm very bloody Asian. I speak Asian fluently. Listen. Dim Sim Dats and Mitsubishi Wok. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I'm Asian. <coughs> oh, well, if you say so. <laughs> when would be convenient for you to move in? Now. Oh, if that's convenient with you. Well, I'd had you planned. <gasps> Thank oh. you. <laughs> Very nice place you have here. Thank you. How many cells? Ah, uh, bedrooms. Uh, you'll be using Craig's old room. <sighs> unless you'd rather have greeters. Is greeter in there? No. Oh, well, I'll use crates. <laughs> what would be your name? Oh, anything you like. Oh, Wayne. Yes, Wayne is my name. Oh, Wayne what? Ah, oh, yes. I was hoping you weren't going to ask. But... Wayne, uh, Couch. <laughs> Wayne Couch. Yep, that's it. Always has been. It's never been Arnold O'Brien or anything else. No, uh, just plain old boring Wayne chair. Couch. Couch, thank you. <laughs> well, why don't you sit down, Wayne? You seem a bit nervous, a bit jumpy. <laughs> There's no need to be, you know. I mean, heavens, this is your home now. We quiet Asian students are a bit prone to being jumpy. You know what with the Viet Cong and the hot curry to keep us on the balls of our feet? <laughs> what actually are you studying? Me? Um, running. Running? Oh, what sort of running? Oh, any sort of running, really. You know, long distances, short distances, sprints, anything, as long as it's faster than the cop, 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 cop competitors. <laughs> In fact, I'm fair worn out after this morning's training run. I might have a bit of a lie down. Oh, Just out there, is it? The second door on your right. <gasps> second door right. Oh, excuse me, Wayne. What? Is this yours? Oh! <laughs> oh. Yes. Um, that's my, um, uh, starting pistol. <laughs> oh, well, Wayne, about the rent. Ah, yes. Well, uh, if you'll just give me back my starting pistol, I'll run down the road and get you some. Hello, I'm home. Oh, 
Hello, dear. How was your day? Bloody shambles, of course. <laughs> Someone should blow all that butt rose up. <laughs> oh, dear. What's happened now? There I am, quietly motoring down Lionel Rose Parade, when this mad woman comes on the radio. I lean over to tune her in properly, and then I realise it's impossible. Why? Of course, it's Ida. <laughs> Tongue's always off the station. <laughs> Before I know what's happening, whack! White paint and overalls in all directions. What was it? I ran into a road striping machine. <laughs> Bloody main roads mob. I don't mind if they paint their stripes everywhere, but they have to do it down the middle of the road. <laughs> and steel cats have turned into steel zebras. <laughs> Where's my plate? In the lounge room. Oh. Oh, Ted, before you go in there, I think you should know. I rented the room today. <laughs> Rent in advance? Yes. Oh, give me. Hang on, hang on. Is he one of them yellow perils? Ted, he is one of our third world neighbours. Well, how Asian is he? I mean, will I still get into the RSL? Oh, yes. He's not all that Asian at all. In fact, <coughs> but he's more like... Well, like what? More like Queensland. <laughs> but, but he's all right anyway. I'll introduce no, you. No, 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 no. No, no, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Well, Ted, you be polite. You remember that he is a guest in our home. Thelma, I am not entirely lacking in couth and decorum. I will extend every gracious courtesy to our guest. <laughs> right, you. Out of my chair. Sorry, <laughs> mate. I should think so. I love my chair. It's been paid off, you know. Good. Good. Bloody amazing, considering the rates those high purchase mobs charge. My paper, I believe. My name is Bullpit. You may call me Mr. What's yours? Wayne Couch. You don't look like a chink. <laughs> One of my beers, is it? Oh, yeah, well, I... Money on the fridge. Where do you come from? Oh, um, Mount Isa. Ah, uh, Thailand. Mount Isa, Thailand? <laughs> Good Lord, it's a small world. We've got one of them here, too. <laughs> I must say you don't look like one of them. Oh, well, no, I'm not. I, um, I, I just grew up there. My parents ran a, um, um, uh, 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 ran a plantation. Oh, really? what they grow? Oh, you know, oriental crops. Oh, what? Transistors. <laughs> A transistor plantation, eh? That's a good business. I looked at it myself, but, you know, same old story, lack of capital. Bloody Commonwealth Bank, too conservative. No wonder the country's in a mess. Hard to get money out of banks. <laughs> Gotta make it yourself these days. Quite right, quite right, yeah. <gasps> Pick on me, grandmother! Look at this! Mass jailbreak! Two on run, statewide manhunt. Have you seen these men? See pics, page three. Wonder what these jobos look like. I'll find them, I'll find them for you. Give me back my bloody paper. <laughs> I'm the paying guest here, now give me a look. <laughs> You'll be a bleeding guest in a minute, so give us my bloody paper. Snatching is very rude. Now give us it. <laughs> it's mine. I need it. You don't. I do. Grandmother and strike me Catholic. It's you. You're one of them. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm still paying off the car. I'm not going to shoot you. You will. You will. Will you just shut up and listen? I have. I have. See, you can't hear a word, can you? You can hear a word. I can't hear a word. That's because I'm not talking. You see, that's why. Shut up and sit down. Oh. Righto. Righto. Now listen. Yeah. How much? How much what? How much do you want not to tell? Oh, uh, you, you're going to try and bribe me? Yeah. Oh, well, how much have you got? Five grand. Take it or leave it. If you're going to leave it, I'll take it. <laughs> there you go. Now remember, not a word to the cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, five grand. I'm rich. Uh, oh, by the way, what? Uh, just this once, I'll shout you that beer. <laughs> No, Mum, I've come home to stay. Stay? Oh, Craig, you've come home! Ring the bells! <laughs> now, Mum, it's only going to be for a little while, just a couple of weeks. <clears throat> what about Wendy? I knew she was no good for you. Uh, no, Mum, she's terrific for me and we're still going to live together. It's oh. just that she had to rush back to Tamworth because her Mum had an accident. Oh, dear, what happened? Well, she was hit by a banjo at the Tamworth Country Music Festival. <laughs> 
one of the judges. <laughs> so I'll be staying here till she gets back. Hmm? Oh, well, you'll have to use Greta's old room. We have our lodger with us now. Oh, really? Where is he? In there, talking to your father. Oh, good. Oh, God. I don't believe it. Who are you calling? Shh! The police. Why? Because your lodger's on the run. Oh, no, Craig. He's just training. <laughs> All right, take him away, Constable. Well, I must say, Mrs. Bullpit, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Oh, me either, Stan. <laughs> Just imagine, of all the houses to hide in in all the state, he picked this one. <laughs> Did not have a chance. Well, what about the reward? Oh, yes, yes, uh, there is a reward. Oh, speaking of money, uh, did he leave any in the house? Oh, only the $20 rent, which I handed over as evidence. All right. And what about you, Mr. Bullpit? Did he give you any money? What, me? Oh, no, not a penny, not a penny. No, I wouldn't touch any of his money. I'm an honest man. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Right. Now, Mr. Bullpit, uh, who do we make the, uh, the check out to, the reward? Oh, me? Oh, heavens no, no, no. I've had my share of uh, glory. No, I think uh, uh, Phil's more deserving. <laughs> Ted, that is nice of you. <laughs> Just a minute. Uh, how much is it? $500. Oh, well, there you go. It's nothing, is it, compared to what I uh, would like. Uh, uh, no, you, you sent it, sent it to Phil. Oh, Ted, that is sweet. <laughs> Sign here, please, Mrs. Bullpit. <laughs> yeah, I reckon Phil deserves it, even though I was the one who risked death grappling with that vicious murderer. No, oh, he was no murderer, Mr. Bullpit. Oh, really? What was he? He was a counterfeiter. 